Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play Fallout. This is episode 8, we're in the scum pit bar and we're about to have a drink. Let's go up and talk to the bartender Neil here. Welcome to the scum pit, what can I do you for? My name's Normantis, what is this place? Neil looks at you quizzically for a moment. Haven't you ever seen a bar before, stranger? This is my place. The scum pit. You buy drinks here, and you tip me. Uh, um, can I get some other information? Okay. What do you want to know? What's the scoop on this town? Well, just over to the west of us is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you didn't know about it. Most of the people here are the ones who just finished losing their money there. Over in the other part of town, you got Killian's General Store and Marcellus's Crash House. Killian's a good guy, runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. The Crash House is where you sleep it off when you've been in here for too long, Neil chuckles. Thanks. Can I get a drink? Great. What do you want? Nuka Cola, please. Here you go. You bitch. Oh, he slapped it down here. Saul, where are you? Get the hell out of here, you goddamn punks. If one of you ever touches her again, I'll kill the lot of you. We'll be back, old man. Holy cow. So the, the skulls here just assaulted a waitress. And Neil, the bartender, blew one of them away. See, I'd like to rid the town of the skulls as well, but we need some evidence or something to get them to do it. I don't want to loot this body because it might be stealing. Let's go talk to the waitress here. Welcome to the scum pit. Can I get you something to drink? Actually, can I ask you some questions? I guess so. Why did you scream about Saul? Saul's my boyfriend. He's really good to me. And we know who owns the bar already. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so she's not going to give up any information either. Let's talk to this guy. You see a man in a dusty leather armor with a trench coat and gas mask. This guy's heavily armed, it looks like. Let's talk to him. Another new face. Travel is here or a dime a dozen. But you have a look of someone different. Care to join me for a drink? Sure. Delightful. I hope you don't mind your drink well watered. They treat beer here like it's a potted plant. So, what's your story? I could ask the same of you. In the interest of amnesty, I suppose I'll tell first. I'm called Taicho came from out east, what used to be called Nevada. How did you survive all the dangers? Had some pretty good training and some good weapons too. My grandfather was a ranger way back when, and he taught my father everything he knew. Dad passed it on to me, so I know not enough not to drink glowing water, so to speak. Really? Survival's tough these days. You must be pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, well, my family taught me everything there is to know about survival. Don't drink water that's totally clear and free of insects and moss, for instance. Only poisonous or radioactive water could be that clean in the wilderness. Lots of other little things to look out for, too. Like what? Well, if you got some time, I could go over some pointers. Sure, that'd be great. I hope that my little instruction course helped a bit. Thanks, bye. Whoa, not so fast. We've never finished introductions, remember? What's your name, stranger? I'm Normantis. Good to meet you. Step carefully, friend. So I wonder if I gained any points in survival here. Is there a survival outdoorsman, maybe? You got 12 points of karma. We're really close to leveling up here. Let's talk to this guy here, Ismark. 
Yeah, what do you want? Hey, good singing. Thanks, what can I do for you? Just felt like tossing some money in the hat, so to speak. Hey, thanks, it's hard being a starving artist. You got anything you need to know? You just ask. Do you do music anywhere else? Yeah, I sing at the hub sometimes, and I visited the Brotherhood of Steel and Adidum with the caravans. Why do you ask? I need to know how to get to the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood is a couple days west and a little bit north of here. Don't go there, though. They won't let you in unless you're with a caravan. You need anything else? How do you get to Adidum? Um, head southwest of the hub. Adidum is part of the Boneyard. It's a small semi-industrial town. I don't like it much there. What else do you want? And I think we know where the hub is. Um, never mind. Thanks. Hopefully got some map entries for that. Let's go and talk to um, Barfly here real quick. I don't feel so good. Well, no doubt you just got just seen someone get murdered in the bar here. Let's talk to Neil once again here. Welcome to the scum pit. What can I do for you? What's that trophy on the shelf? That's not a trophy. That's an urn. It contains my wife's ashes. Besides this bar, it's the most important thing in my life. Oh, anything else? Looking for some more information. Okay, what do you want to know? Who are the jerks? Oh, them. They're the Skulls. They're a local gang. All the riffraff. Sometimes they start fights and cause a little trouble. Usually Killian keeps them in line, though. Mind if I ask some other questions? Okay, what do you want to know? I guess he's done with the questions here. I'm taking it that this is his urn here, maybe? Right here? Let's get out of here. And let's go talk to the... Uh, I want to get rid of the skulls from this town. And I need some evidence. I'm not sure how to get it. They're over here. Away from my pooch and everything else. Let's go in here and let's talk to some of these skull members here and see what they think about the guy getting murdered. Get out of here. New blood. <laughs> You're not a very happy person, are you? Why do you say that? I'm quite happy. I'm very happy because there's a lot of things that bleed. Ah, uh, yes. Art appreciation. Uh, I can understand that, I think. Someone who understands me. At last. Okay, so we've got a sicko here. That's Victor. And that's Vinny. And we have another named person right here. Sherry. Let's talk to Vinny. What do you want to know? Oh, look at this. I'd like to join you guys. I wonder if I can join them and get some evidence against them. That might be an option to take. Let's explore that a little bit. I'd like to join you guys. You want to join us, huh? How do we know you're tough enough to be a skull? Trust me, I'm tough enough. Vinny thinks for a second. If you want to prove you belong in the skulls, I want you to steal that old bastard's wife's ashes. Heh, <laughs> Vinny mumbles. Let's make Neil suffer for his last couple of hours. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. That's like his prized possession, right? And it's his wife's ashes. Hmm. 
let's let's do it maybe we can give the ashes back to him once we're done all right i'll do it if you're hard enough to do that maybe you bake a skull after all bring it back once you've got it all right let's leave here what time is it six o'clock so it's just I'd like to hit him when he's closed maybe and yeah, the bar is still open let's let's hang out let's hang out here with this uh for this peasant and let's wait we have 124 days left let's wait here until morning hundred and twenty three days left and the bar is now closed and I believe there was a side door over here Yes, there is. Where is the side door here? I can't, I can't seem to get the side door. Let's see if we can break into the bar here. There's the side door right there. Let's go and lock pick this thing you manage to unlock the door you successfully steal the urn from the countertop let's get out of here Let's go join. Let's give this to Vinny here. Hopefully we can bring the urn back. You got it? Yep. Haha, let that old cock suffer until we off him tonight. Are you in? Let's take a look at our options here. This is a serious talk. I decided I'd rather not have anything to do with scabs like you. Let's crush him. I've got some other shit to do before then. I'll meet you there. Let's do this and then maybe we can go talk to Lars and we can set up an ambush or something. Let's try this. Ah, all right. Meet us later, but don't take too long. And it looks like I've leveled up here. You gained 400 experience points for stealing Neil's urn. The dead shall never rest in peace. You have gone up a level. Beautiful. Let's take a look here. Still no perk point. Now I want to jack up some lock picking here. Let's go to 60%. And the steel, maybe? Let's bring the steel up to 30%. Let's drop a few into first aid, a few into speech, and one into small guns. And let's say done by this now. We need 15,000 points to gain the next level. All right, let's go talk to, to uh, Lars. See if we can uh, prevent this from happening. 
catch them in the act. I hope this works. I don't want to drift into being evil, and stealing that urn is not sitting right with me at the moment. But maybe it'll pay off? Do I still have the urn? Oh, I do. Maybe I can give the... Maybe I can put the urn back right now. Let's try that. Before he even notices it's gone. It's locked. Let's lockpick this again. You've unlocked the door. Did I put the urn back? No, I haven't. There's the urn right there. I wonder if that'll do it. Let's leave. I guess we can't put it back there. That's too bad. I wonder if we're going to get in trouble for that. Let's leave here. And let's go find uh, Lars and see if we can stop this uh, attempted murder. See if we can stop the murder of the uh, Neil, the bartender. All right, let's do this. Where is Neil again? There he is right there. Good day, traveler. Do you need something? The Skulls are planning on killing Neil. Very nice. It looks like this may work. What? Hmm. We'll see about that. I'll send some men over to ambush them when they try it. You gonna be there? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Holy smokes. I do not have a weapon again. Let's load up with our trusty... Where is it? Our trusty pistol here. And that... young man with a tattoo so that's Vinny right there let's shoot him Vinny's hit for eight points 
Gonna spit on your corpse, Skag. Oh, I'm getting hit. Thanks, Ian. My dog's taking a chunk out of him. Dog meat. Ouch. Let's shoot Vinny here. Vinny's dead. Do not kill my dog. Oh no, I hit dog meat. Beautiful. Don't kill my dog. Do not kill the dog. She's running. It's a big fight. Let's walk over here. I don't think there's any more people in the bar. Oh, we're... No, we're still in combat. Turn here. I think we're over, aren't we? Yeah, we're done combat. Let's loot some bodies here and then talk to Neil and see if we can give him his stuff back, his urn. It looks like we cleared out the, the skulls here. Oh, we don't want to talk to uh, Ian. All you got is a knife, a spear, and a knife. And another knife. Not very well-armed guys here. Let's talk to Ian real quick. Welcome to the scum pit. What can I do you for? I've got your urn back for you. Thank you. You can't know what this means to me. You'll never pay for a drink in this bar again. Let's see. What is our character sheet here? Not bad. Well, you got a pretty big mess here on your hands. You've got a pretty big mess on your hands. Let's go over here. Here's another person. And we got some more weapons. Now we got some stuff to trade with uh, Gillian. Let's go talk to Lars and see what he thinks about what happened here. It looks like we've cleaned out the all the gangs from this town now. Which is pretty good news, I think.
Thanks for your assistance. Junktown is a little safer now because of your help. You gained 500 experience points for assisting in the elimination of the Skulls Gang. Very nice. We've cleaned up this town. Let's go see Killian and sell some of these items for some caps. I wouldn't mind some more bullets. Killing his generals. Oh, it's locked. Is that Killian right there? Probably is. Oh, I don't want to do this again. But it's almost time to get up anyways. Let's wait until morning. 122 days. We have to wait for a little bit more time here. Let's rest for rest for an hour. And there's Killian. He's opened his store now. Let's talk well, to him. Howdy. What can I do for you today? I want to buy something. Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. Thank you, sir. All right, let's get rid of let's get rid of four of these. Oh, let's get rid of one more. Let's get rid of both of these. I don't want spears. We've got leather armor. Let's get rid of both of these. So he doesn't have that much of stuff. How much does this cost? Let's get a Magnum. Let's get these bullets. All of them. You can still go for some more stuff. Let's throw some stim packs here. Let's pick up all of those bullets. All of these bullets. We still have more stuff. So let's go for 90 here, maybe. Two hundred. Oh, we got two hundred and. That's too much. Two fifty seven to two. Let's try that offer. Okay, that's a good trade. Beautiful. Now we've got some more stuff we've got a new gun a magnum it looks like 
all done. All right, I think it's time we are almost ready to leave the town here. Let's take a look at the... Head down to the um, exit. The one thing for sure is that we don't know anything about the water chip. This town has given us no clues whatsoever about the water chip. I think we need to go to the hub. Oh. We've got the Brotherhood. We've got the Boneyard added to the place. Now we have the hub here. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's take the journey to the hub. Let's do that. Oh, we've got a... What do we got going here? We just got Brahmin here. You see a cow. Oh, and there's a peasant here. Let's talk to him. He doesn't want to talk cactus you see nothing important about the cactus see a pile of rocks trash some broken pieces of glass and other ruined pieces of junk cactus nothing special scrubs just some weeds looks like there's just a farmer and his cattle out here. He doesn't want to talk to us. See a cow, see a cow, see a cow. Yeah, these guys don't want to talk. Let's head out. Let's continue to the hub. Interesting indeed. Water merchants, old town, downtown, the Heights, the hub trading company. Let's enter here. To the south, you see a large city outlying farms around the town there is much life in this desert oasis anyways we're at the hub now and we're going to call that an episode for today thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon <laughs>